Down dog. Let's take your right foot up between your hands. Bend and straighten your right leg. If you need to modify this, you can be up on your knee or just don't straighten the leg as much.
four, three, two, arms down, little pulses, keep the back leg straight.
almost there. One more. And stand down, dog. Let's go on your hands and knees. We're going to do cat and cow. Just as a little recovery before we do the other side. Round your back and release. Big deep breath. And we're going to go on to that other side. Down dog. Left leg up as high as you can. Just hold it there. Remember the modifier. Right knee down. Take that left leg up between your hands. Turn your back foot so you have balance. Come on up. Arm circles back. Slow and control. Let's just get used to this. Back leg is straight. Front leg is slightly bent. And you're leading with your chest first. And then arm circle back. One more. Arms down. Push your left leg back up in the air. This time you're going to pulse it. Three, two, left leg up. We're going to go to those singles. Come on up, one arm circle back, hands come down, left leg back up, two pulses. As high as you can get that left leg, and sweep it back in. And this is your full body. Almost there. So I'll do one more. And down dog. Knees down, cat and cow. Round your back and release. Deep breaths. One more, and child's pose. Grab water quickly. We're gonna come onto our side. Whichever side you want to be on. I'm on my left elbow. All right, 
So this is gonna be strong, this bottom elbow, bottom shoulder. I say this all the time, but don't let it shrug up to your ear. Constantly push it away so it's in that isometric hold the whole time. Legs are straight. You're just gonna bring your top leg forward and backward. As far forward as you can. Your upper body is kind of going with it. So you can lean forward and then back. If you can't get that far, just go as far as you can. Try to get your upper body into it though. That lets your leg go further. I'm gonna keep reminding you about that shoulder because it's very easy to shrug it. Kind of forget about that hold. One more. Hover right across, right above the other one, and pulse. Little tiny pulses. This top leg's doing all the work. Remember that shoulder. You're right on the side of that leg. Bend your heel back and try to grab, if you can grab your foot, I want you to pull your foot away from your hand. If you're not grabbing your foot, just reach for it and hold it here. Otherwise, once you get it, if you're holding your foot, try to get your foot to kind of push away from your hand. And switch and bring the knee up, your hand right in front of it. And rotate that knee to the ceiling. Remember the shoulder. Grab behind the knee, straighten out that right, that top leg. You can grab it at your ankle, if you can your foot, or just hold behind your knee. Your shoulder might be feeling the work, that's okay, keep it strong. Bring that leg down, pulse it again. Right over that other leg. It's all that top leg, even your obliques here working. Four, three, two, we're gonna give the shoulder a rest. Come all the way down. Now you can get a little bit more comfortable with that upper body. We're still on the same side. We're gonna do the same thing, all the way up, all the way back. Same thing we started with down here. Keep your legs straight, rock your upper body. Back and forth. One more. Pulse it right above the other one.
and bend the foot. Try to grab it. If you can, you can kind of pull it away, like the foot's trying to get away from the hand. And bring it forward. Rotate it up, knee to the ceiling. Straighten it out. One more before we switch sides. Now your upper body lays all the way down. Top arm and top leg are gonna come up together and down. If that's too much, you don't have to go up. You don't have to go too far up. You can just lift a little bit. The goal is to get them to meet in the middle. This bottom arm can push into the ground to help lift your upper body up off the ground. One more. And let's roll to the other side. Up on that elbow. Whole thing on this side now. Strong elbow. Top legs, keep it straight. All the way forward, all the way back. Upper body's leaning into it. Big range of motion. One more. Pulse that top leg above the other. Remember, strong shoulder. Bend that heel back, try to grab it with your foot. If you can grab it, you can pull your foot away, feeling that stretch. Bring that knee in front of you, pull it forward, and rotate the knee to the ceiling. Straighten out the leg, hold it here. Remember that strong shoulder, bottom shoulder. Bring it down, pulse over the other leg. We're gonna go down into a more comfortable position for that shoulder. Keep pulsing the leg. We're gonna do everything we just did, all the way forward and back. Your upper body can still get into it. One more, pulse. Let's bring that back heel in, try to grab it. 
So if you can, try to pull it away from the hand. Bring that knee forward. Rotate it up. Straighten it out. And all the way down. Relax that bottom arm all the way down. Top arm, top leg lift and down. Try to get your shoulders off the ground. Remember your modifier, you don't have to lift as high. Four, three, two, one. Let's roll it over, hands and knees. Woo. Come into plank. Pedal the knees down in plank. Hands right under your shoulders. Let's take your right knee all the way in. Between your hands, relax down. Pigeon, enjoy. Take some deep breaths. Make sure you're feeling this. If pigeon got too easy for you or you're more flexible, you can always bring this bottom foot up a little bit. And then try to come back on top. There's always ways to make this a little bit deeper stretch because your flexibility is gonna get better. All right, while we're in pigeon, Bring your upper body up, hands on the ground. Curl the back toe under. So everything's gonna come off the ground except your feet and your hands. So you can see this. Down and lift. Wherever your foot is, if your foot's back here, you're kind of pushing into the top of your foot. If that hurts, you can always curl this toe under and go like this. So you're on both toes. Kind of like you're going into down dog and back. Arms are straight. One more. Hold it up. And plank. Left leg up. Pigeon. Relax down. Enjoy pigeon, take some deep breaths. Get ready, arms come up. We're gonna do the same thing we did before. Throw the back toe under. Pushing the hands into the ground. Lift everything up besides your feet and your hands. Those are the only things touching the ground. Remember this top foot. You can curl the toe under. Or you can just push through the top of your foot or the side of your foot to lift everything up. Four, three, 
two. Last one, you're gonna hold it up there. And step back in the plank. Walk your hands all the way back to your feet. From here, I want you to, your hands are out a little bit, lift your heels and your toes. Just kind of rocking back, your hands are there so you don't fall. Try to keep your legs straight. Four, three, two, one. Roll on up, chin to your chest. Once you get to the top, big shoulder roll back. And that's it. Woo! Good job.